Hello there. This is Low End Gaming, and welcome to the Ultimate Counter Strike Global Offensive Lag Fix Guide. This video will definitely help you, and I guarantee you a tremendous increase in FPS in your game. In this video, I will go from basic to advanced step, so make sure to watch the video till the end to get the maximum results. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. So, the first step is very impactful step for this game. It changes everything. Open the game, click on settings and go to video. Then follow me and copy all my settings as it is. Note that if you have a dedicated GPU then you can keep resolution of your choice. But don't set it to high, make sure it is lower than 1080p. After copying all the settings, click on apply. Then try your game, and it will be way more smoother than before. Don't worry if you still face lag, cause this was only the first step. So, from using some commands, hit the Steam app you can get a tremendous FPS boost. To write and run the launch commands. Go to library, right click on CSGO and go to properties. Then in general, you will see the launch options. So here, you have to paste some commands. Go to the video description and copy the launch commands and paste it in the Steam app and done. I will not tell you what each command will do, this will make the video boring. So just trust me, this will be very useful. Just copy paste all the commands and you are done. Now let's move to the third step. For the step 3, we will use some console commands of CSGO. To run the commands in the game, you should enable the developer console. To enable it, go to settings and click on game. Then turn on the developer console, and done. Now press this key on your keyboard to open it. Now just follow me, and type the commands. Note that all commands I used in this video, are given in the description below. Now in the console type spcheats underscore, 1, and press enter. Now type cl underscore disable html mod 1, and press enter. cl underscore force preload 1, and press enter. This command preloads all maps and sounds. Now type FPS underscore 60. This command will cap your FPS to a specified value. I capped it to 60 FPS. You can enter any value like 30 FPS or 120 FPS. It's your choice. If your game stutters a lot, but get very high FPS, then you should limit FPS to reduce the stuttering. Type mat underscore Q underscore mode 2. This command will force your CPU to use multithreads for better performance. Now see on the screen, and type this 6 commands. They are very useful. Now comes, 3 most useful commands first. R underscore draw particles 0 and press enter. This disables all the particles and small objects in the game. Second, funk underscore break underscore max underscore pieces 0. This all disable other particles and small objects in the game. Third, muzzle flash underscore light 0. This commands disable all flashes and light effects. We are done our game is now fully optimized. I have two optional commands for you, CL underscore show FPS 1, and net underscore 1. This commands will display FPS ping and other stats, while playing the game. I know this step was hard and long, but, it will be worth it. If you are still watching this video make sure to like it. Now let's move to some external optimizations. I will show you a quick internet hack to reduce ping in your game so you can get more FPS. So, open the control panel, go to network and internet, network and sharing center, then click on ethernet. Now go to properties. Click on internet protocol version 4 and click on properties. Down, here select use the following DNS addresses. In preferred DNS server type in 8888. In alternate DNS server type in 8844. And done. Click on OK and close it. And we are done. 
This will literally improve your in-game ping and help you get a smoother gameplay. Let's move to our last and most important step. So, this step will give a good FPS boost in your game. The credit for this tweak goes to Renotic. So, follow me and let's see the tweak. First go down in the description below and down the two tool packs and extract them. Now first open the Auto GPU Affinity folder. Right click on Start File and run it as an administrator. Now press Enter and the program will first benchmark your CPU, which will take some time, around 10 to 15 minutes. So, after the benchmark test is done, a table like this will appear on your program screen. Now hear me carefully. Select a GPU core which has the highest min FPS value or the highest 0.01% value. Like in my case, I can either choose CPU 0 or CPU 2. In your case it may be different. So now remember a core you want to select. Now close this window. Now right click on this PC and click on Manage and open the device manager under the display adapter select your gpu and click on properties now down here remember the device location we will need it for later now close the device manager now open the second extracted file called affinities pack open the interrupt affinity policy tool and run it as an administrator here find your gpu device to make sure it is the right one remember the address we found in the device manager now select the device and click on set mask now here select the cpu core you selected before i will use the cpu zero then click on ok and ignore all the errors click on no and just reboot your whole system again so that all the changes take place nicely so now we will optimize our pc and get more fps in our game but i will not show you that in this video for that watch this quick video it will be worth it link in the description below or at the top right corner so after this step you will definitely get some performance boost hope you watched the video till here and the video was very helpful to you if you still watching comment down below worth it so guys this was it for this video see you all in the next video bye